Now, what other mode of evolution? Speciation is another mode of evolution. What is speciation? Forming new species, right? From one existing species, we are forming a new species. That is speciation. So, when we talk about speciation, obviously we know there is an ancestor. So, ancestral species, let's say species X. Now, this X will become species Y. How come X will become species I? Why? Obviously, when we call it as a species, we call it species because members of a species should be able to reproduce. And if, let's say there are two species, X and Y, and the members are not allowed to reproduce, we don't call them species. So we call them different species. So the splitting of a species into two or more parts as the result of some ecological or geographical barrier or due to migration is termed as speciation. The splitting of one species into two as a result of ecological, geographical barrier and due to migration is known as speciation. Now barriers can be different things like canyons, mountain ranges, deserts, oceans, basins and many more things. So there can be physical barriers, environmental barriers. Those physical environmental barriers, physical and environmental barriers can separate two species, I mean organisms from each other. And as the physical barrier separates them, then there will be reproductive isolation. So when we talk about speciation, for example, here you can see anatomy in the x-axis. And time in the y-axis. And what we can clearly see that the anatomy was something that was fixed for the ancestor. And slowly the anatomy is shifted to something else. Let's say here we are looking at the length. The length was earlier 10 centimeters and is shifting towards 6 centimeters. Here is shifting towards 14 centimeters. So at the end, what we have? We have a length of 6 centimeters. 14 cm all started with length of 10 cm. This is just one example with one body parameter as the length, let's say. A length of the beak, for example, of a, of a bird. So, this sort of modifications are there. And the modification is created based on barriers. What kind of barrier? Physical. Physical barrier. Okay. So, primarily start with physical barrier and then the physical barrier leads to reproductive barrier, reproductive isolation. So to generate new species, obviously the species need to have reproductive isolation. Reproductively, two species are isolated, means what? They become different species. That's why they are reproductively isolated. If they are not reproductively isolated, then they are same species. So, one example of this speciation, as I told earlier, the camels, they originate in North America during the Eocene and migration through the land bridges. If you look at here, so they originate where? They, or they started their journey here in North America and they migrated to here, Asia. From there, they migrated to Africa and from that side again, South America. So, they became different types of camels. They originally started their journey in North America, but through the corridors between the geography, I mean, between the uh, regions, the what I can say, Pangea, the fragments, through them they migrate from the North America to Asia, from Asia to Africa, and from North America directly to South America. And they have different forms that they created. So, now you can see these all the different types of species that we observe here, all the different uh, kind of uh, camels we are seeing there. They have one ancestor. The ancestor started their journey from North America. Hmm? So, they are geographically isolated or you can see ecologically isolated. So, these are known as geographical or ecological isolation because right now there is a gap in between here. Right? Ocean is there. So, this is ecological isolation that develops into different species, that helps in developing different species. So what are the type of speciation, the types of speciation? There are four different 
types of speciation allopatric speciation, parapatric, sympatric, and peripatric. There are four types. Allopatric and sympatric are the more common one that we need to understand. But understand one thing allopatric speciation is when the speciation started with geographical barrier. So, geographical barrier actually results in separation of organisms in different environment so that they can modify or they can evolve differently. Well, sympatric speciation is when there is no geographical barrier. There is only change in genetic frequencies or specific allele frequencies in a population. Change in allele frequency is a modification of an organism inside a staying in the same environment. That, that is known as genetic polymorphism. So, as in the same population, there are different types of genotype, you know, of, of organism. So, change in that genotype leads to different in, difference in function. A difference in function, difference in their morphology, their reproductive behavior. And that's how they create new species, remaining in the same habitat, in the same environment. So, sympatric speciation is when the speciation occurs in the same environment. Allopatric speciation is when there is geographical isolation mandatorily separating the organisms apart. And there are this peripatric speciation, which is generally caused due to the migration of organisms. So, organisms living in that large area migrate to some area nearby and living there for a time frame. So, they modify itself based on their food habit changes or behavior. And sometimes it's similar to peripatric, the same way the organisms migrate, but they remain very close to the original habitat. Even some portion of original habitat and the new habitat has a common area. So, that is parapatric speciation. So, isolation is there. So, isolation based on environment is there in allopatric speciation, peripatric speciation, parapatric speciation. As the organism is somehow migrating to a new location. In case of allopatric, a geographical uh, structure is separating them. While in case of peripatric, patric and parapatric, the organism may go itself in search for food or any other purpose. Okay, migration is there. But sympatric is an event where it's solely based on the same area, but change in genotype or gene frequencies. Okay, genetic polymorphism drives sympatric speciation. Here you see the example of allopatric speciation. These were the trees living in that area, and there is a river in between separating the trees. So now the two separate parts of the river have two different types of environmental factors. Now the trees will be changing to different. So this was remaining ancestral, this became new descendants. Okay. And we have sympatric speciation where there is no physical barrier or changes, but modification of the organism or the tree. And that's how new species form in that same area due to genetic polymorphism. Due to genetic polymorphism means actually evolution can be classified, evolution can be represented in change in gene frequency from generation up to generation. If the allele frequencies remain same in one generation to the next generation, then we say that that, that population is not evolving. If the allele frequency changes, from one generation to the next generation, then we say that the population is evolving. 